have not brushed my hair and I will not brush my hair. Can I hold all of these? Yeah, it's doable. Wait, hold on. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Shit! I'll just fix you there. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. It's heavy. Okay, it's going down. It's going down. Oh. Hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> okay. Gosh, where do I even start? So since the beginning of 2023, I've accumulated some new books. <laughs> I am very excited for this year. Um, in my last video, <laughs> it's not. I don't want to talk about it, but we're gonna talk about it. Um, I had my reading goal set for 50 books and then halfway through the year, I dropped it down to 25 and I still didn't hit that. I only read like 18 books. This year in 2023, I am challenging myself to read 50 books and so far I'm doing a pretty good job. So with that being said, um, I bought some new books and let's go ahead and go through it. Is that, is that how these work? I haven't done a book haul in forever and I'm feeling a little eh today. So this is in no specific order. We're just picking off the top of a pile. Um, I have no reasoning behind this other than I thought it would be fun. <laughs> this is actually one of those books that has like 50 different endings. So I was really curious and kind of intrigued on how this works and we've followed it. I, you know what, I can't even tell you how far I've gotten in this book because it takes you on different paths. So far we are surviving. So haven't really gotten to the end where if I know that if I survived or if I died so very fun i highly recommend these are the types of books that are so so fun to me and the thing is with this book is that i have to go get my lasagna out of the oven okay um wow don't remember what i was saying before i got my lasagna out of the oven uh fun book let's just let's just say that i also picked up the housemaid because so many people on book talk and booktube have been reading this and loving it um i believe it's a thriller do i know what what this is about no so i'm gonna have to read the back of the book <laughs> that really didn't give me anything <laughs> from what i gathered um it's just about a housemaid uh <laughs> i guess it's supposed to be really good so that's why I bought it then I picked up Vow of Thieves the second book in the Dance of Thieves duology and I've already finished this I started it and finished it it was um, a five-star read for me this duology was a five star loved 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 this duology I love the kiss of deception the remnant chronicles Love everything about that. The only book I haven't read yet from Mary E. Pearson is her um, Morgan, Morgan, I don't know how she pronounces it, um, little book. I love Kazzy, I love Jace, I love Sonove, Ren, the whole gang. This book right now has my heart. And um, I listened to it on Audible as well as read it and I highly, highly recommend that. The audiobooks for these, even the Remnant Chronicles are amazing, they're so good. I know why I picked up this next book maybe because it's becoming a movie and everyone cries at it but it's a man called Ove wait is it Ove so wait it's based off of the book but the movie is called a man called Otto that's interesting is it Ove or Ove I don't know anyways <laughs> I think it's just a book about a grumpy man and a new family moves in next door and i think it's just going to be about their relationship i don't know how this is gonna end um but i've been seeing the movie everywhere and i wanted to read the book before i went and saw the movie because tom hanks is the um old man and i love tom hanks does it not look like the cat is literally peeing on his leg but it's just his tail 
The next book I got, um, I should have read earlier, but I procrastinated and never picked it up. And now the second book is out and that is Legendborn. I haven't really been into like YA fantasy, but recently after reading like Dance of Thieves, I'm kind of tiptoeing back into it. Right now I'm currently reading Once Upon a Broken Heart. Jesus, look at that cover. That is beautiful. I want to give it a try, so I picked it up. Am I going to like it? Who knows? Do I know what it's about? No, absolutely not. This is a new thing for me. I don't know. I was just drawn to this book. Gideon the Ninth. Like, look at that cover. That's pretty sick. But what got me? <laughs> Gideon has a sword, some dirty magazines, and no more time for undead nonsense. Um, I'm in. <laughs> This sounds like it's gonna be a fun time. So for the next one, I got Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I read A House Across the Lake at the end of 2022, and now I wanna read every single Riley Sager book. And I heard that this one was the most popular. A lot of people talk about Lock Every Door, and I think it's just about a girl who is house sitting and the house is just freaky. I don't know when I'll get to this, but I'm excited to get to it. Oh, this is beautiful. Why am I looking at these books like I'm looking at them for the first time? It's not, I've had these books on my shelf for a while, but every time I look at them, I'm like, hmm, it's stunning. One Dark Window. <laughs> know nothing about it but i know that cave and books on tiktok um has raved about it so of course i bought it i think it has to do with something with tarot cards too because each chapter has like a tarot card and it's a fantasy book and i'm trying to read more fantasy th this year so i'm excited this next one was kind of a shock for me um more than you'll ever know i was in target just browsing the book section and saw this and read the back and i was like you know what let's go for it i haven't heard anything about this book i just thought it would look interesting and that's a first for me because i don't buy books without someone telling me to buy them a dance becomes an affair which becomes a marriage which becomes a murder that sounds pretty good to me. And then these next books were what my husband got me for Christmas. He's so nice, even though I sent him a Amazon wish list of the books that I wanted, so. Okay, so the first thing he got me was Curse of the Wolf King. I think this is YA fantasy, so again, dipping my toe in YA fantasy. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but I wanted to start with this one because the next one is a Cinderella retelling. There's a Little Mermaid retelling and a Snow White retelling, I believe. So I love Disney retellings. Um, this next one has been on my radar for a long time. And it is These Violent Delights. Romeo and Juliet retelling. I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet. I think I'm intimidated by it. I think that's what it is. You intimidate me. So many people love it though, and I want to love it too. <laughs> the last book in my book haul is These Twisted Bonds. Um, read the first book. I liked it. It was interesting. Can you hear Joe in the background? <laughs> So Joe got me the second book and um, this isn't really a priority for me right now, but I'm happy I have it. <laughs> Lord, why do I feel so exhausted after doing that? That was my first book haul for 2023. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments below if you read any of these books and if you liked them and what book should I start first? There's a lot. So, oh yeah. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.